Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Food Taunt. And another movie I finally saw after it being a limited release for two weeks and finally a wide release last week was Till. Is Till worth your time in theaters? Or is it one where it's kind of like, this is very heavy hand? So Till, what's about the very simple premise is based on a true story in 1955, Mississippi. Emmett Till gets lynched, shot, beat up, whipped, everything thrown in a river. And now the mother needs to go to Mississippi and go on trial to just say enough is enough. That is my boy. I want justice for what has happened. And unfortunately, you know the true story. Since it's Mississippi in 1955, no justice is served. And actually, the people that killed Emmett Till confessed a month later and got $4,000, but nothing else happened to the two murderers as well as the girl who told these two people to commit. Even though, I don't know if she told the two people to commit the murder, but with, if she didn't say anything, Emmett Till would still be alive today. So, did I like this film? I thought it was a good historical representation of what has happened in 1955 in Mississippi. It's very interesting where it starts in Chicago and now in Mississippi. Looking at the violence nowadays, I don't know if it's reversed, where it's like a lot of the crime now in Chicago is just astronomically. But it just, it just shows that there's still hate today. And I think that's what I'm trying to get at is we need to stop this hate. Stop. Just stop. It is atrocious that it's still happening today. Not like lynching and stuff like that, but just senseless murders. And that doesn't need to happen. So with that, I'll get the positives of the movie. I think the movie is 2 hours and 10 minutes. And it does do a good job with that pacing. Like, it didn't feel like a 2 hour and 10 minute movie. And that's a positive for a movie with this such heavy messaging. The acting, that's all you're hearing is Dead Wilder becoming an Oscar-nominated actor this year. And I have to agree with it. Will she win? I don't know. I haven't seen Kate Blanchett and Tar. But she does have some good scenes in this movie where she takes like the courtroom scene and other scenes in this movie, especially with her in the beginning saying, I just want my son to come to Chicago and bury him here. And then all these people from like the NAACP and other organizations that kind of want to take her story and, it, and it make their agenda more prominent, even though she's a mother and all she wants to do is bury her child at that moment. Yeah, you might want to talk about it maybe a month down the line, but right now she's focused on getting her kid back to her, back home, and understanding what she's going to do next in life. But then you just have these people that have their agendas and they don't care about her heartache and what she's going through. It's sickening, actually. I'm glad they actually talked about it in this movie, even though they kind of deviate it from the very end of the film, which I understand why they did, but it feels like it was going one route with that whole agenda seeking route of people. And she's just like, you know, sign and just upset that they're talking about that, even though at the very end it kind of turns into like, oh, she's all for it. It just was a weird transition, so that could be a little bit of a negative. But like I said, the movie looked great. The production style was great. I can't say the story was great because nothing in the story is great. Something horrible happened. Yeah, the story needs to be told, but saying it's a great story is kind of really messed up because nothing in the story, anything that happened to Emmett Till, nothing is great. So saying it's a great story just doesn't feel right, but it just needs to be told of what happened in 1955. But I would say the so this whole movie is a great experience. I think people need to watch it. Be like, yeah, this shit was fucked up in the fifties, and it's pretty horrible what happened. And I kind of wish it did talk about uh, the mother, Miss Till, or Miss Till Bradley, a little bit more of what happened after it. Like, what did she do as a job? Because it was I found it interesting that she was working for the Air Force in the fifties, but it really didn't say. Because at the very end of speech, she said she did work for the Air Force. She did this. So I was curious, like. Was she now just focusing on the, I hate to say activism, or the civil rights of it? I was just very interested. So it makes me want to research what she did after this incident. If I had to do some nitpicks of the story, not the story, sorry, the movie, is the score. Some of the score was just overbearing, and I couldn't hear some of the dialogue. There's one scene uh, specifically where they did a picture of Emmett Till, you know, in a magazine cover. And I was like, what did she just say for a second? I couldn't understand. At the very end, they crescendoed the score a little bit too high for the dialogue. And I was just like, you don't need that, like, you know, score of, like, oh, 
I mean, to like uh, pump your emotions up, you just need her speech. Her speech was emotional enough. Like, so I feel like that was as unneeded as a movie making experience. There was one green screen when he was on a train that was kind of noticeable as well. Oh, and finally, this might be a weird nitpick, but in this story, they show Emmett Till after being in the lake, after what happened to him, and I think that was 100% needed to show what everyone else saw in the magazine covers, what happened to this body, which was absolutely horrific. But to me, there was a scene before where they show the casket coming out of the train, and uh, Miss Till Bradley like is crying over the casket or the box where Emmett Till is in. I felt like that scene was almost a little overacted, or just not needed because the scene after that shows Emmett Till on the slab in the mortuary's office. And I feel like just showing that in the emotions of Emmett or in, sorry of Miss Till Bradley was enough to show like, holy shit, this is horrifying. And I think just that scene before took a little bit of the emotion and the impact gut punch of seeing the body for the first time. So if they would have taken that scene out. I think the emotional impact through the audience would have just been like a lot more like, oh my God moment. But overall, Till, I think it was a great story. It's a great watch. Is it a rewatchable movie though? That's hard to say because it is a good, I hate to say it's a good story because it's not a good story, but it's something that needs to be watched at least once. So Till will receive a four out of five of futons, which equals at 80%. So see the critics news scores gave this one. So you have Till at 98% with 125 of them. Audience score 96% with 500. Here's quick consensus. Till reframes as historically horrific murder within a mother's grief brought heart-wrenchingly to life by Danielle Deadweiler's tremendous performance. So yeah, overall Till, it's worth a watch at least once, but I just don't see it cracking at $10 million mark because this is what it is about and people just not wanting to be in the theater for two hours and 10 minutes looking at are just talking about this horrific event. 98, 96, 80. Chase Talk with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think is Utopia. You Blue Tony. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. So yeah, we just need to stop the hate. We just had like a rape happen in the like 6.45 in the morning in New York City, which a guy had like 25 priors. Then we have uh, in Chicago and Halloween, we had like a drive-by. 13 people got shot. It's like, why? What's... Love. Is that hard to love? Love each other. Well, it doesn't really help where the politicians on both sides are just spreading hate as well. Maybe hate. Maybe crime's a conspiracy theory. Right? New York governor? Maybe crime is. I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm spinning I'm a conspiracy theorist. Who the fuck knows? <laughs>